So now, can you say you're actually happy to be in the 1-2 game, or do you still want to be in the 3-4 game? Because I'm sure we could arrange that. <laughs> I hope we, we don't arrange that for ourselves. <laughs> well, I think it's a done deal now. Okay, good. Yeah, no, we're happy to be where we are, obviously. I mean, is that game a reminder a little bit that you can't, uh, you know, be anything less than near perfect in a game? Absolutely, and I mean, give it to them for the first five ends, they were on fire. Yeah. They were just making everything, and we were, again, a little off on sheet D. I just think it's our doomsday sheet. <laughs> What is it about this sheet? It's just different than the others. It's still a really good sheet of curling ice. It's just we just didn't catch on again. <laughs> How do you feel you guys are playing now, heading into the playoffs in the 1-2 game? How would you rate your performance? The team's still throwing really soft. Yeah, the, the only problems we had today was with me putting the room down the wrong spot a few times. And weight, my weight. So now, you've got another game tonight that means nothing in the standings. You've wrapped up first place, and basically, yeah, you have. But doesn't it mean rocks and hammer? Well, you got to be clear to be rocks and hammer, right? So, yeah. so there's still that to play for, but in essence, you got nothing to look forward to until, I think, the way it works tomorrow night. Now, is that a long time for you guys to be stewing on a game like that tomorrow? or? Well, I don't think so. We've got lots of family here, so I'm sure that we can fill our time with something. A little blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you guys haven't looked. Any, to go down there. That's the other, you guys haven't looked anything but relaxed here. That's, that's right. We got nothing to lose, and maybe it's the way that we got here. I mean, we don't really deserve to be here. We should have lost to our fifth players team in the provincials. We were down five one after five ends. So if you just go look at it like that. It doesn't you know? Just play like you're lucky to be here and see what happens. And yet you guys are the number one team on the CTRS. Uh, there, there were expectations, but you guys haven't put any on yourselves, have you, or have you? Oh, no, not a, of course not. We don't in any event. You just go out there and play the best you can and hope the other team doesn't shoot 100 against you. How big a difference does that make in terms of how you uh, play a game? Well, I think we're very confident, obviously. We've qualified in everything that we've played in this year, so we know that we can be close to every team out there, so we just go and do our thing. I know you've, you've been asked a lot about your Olympic experience, but do you think, think <clears throat> mentally that you're a different player now than you were before the Olympics? No. No? no or I is think. your approach or attitude any different to the game no. now? No? Nothing's changed? Nothing's changed. Everyone always knows she's always the inexperienced one, but really what I think is I've just never had this kind of forces behind me. Like, they are awesome. <laughs> it's all, really, if I can just play decent, we know we have a good chance. Is there any time during your career when you changed? Never. No, I think I've been the same since the day I stepped on the ice as a junior, because my parents sort of just said, you know, keep it in perspective, no matter where you get to, you're, it's just a game, right? So, win or lose, it's no big deal. You still go home to your family, and I've kind of always played like that. No evolution, though, Shannon, from people you've played with, even when the year you were with Jan and Marcia and those guys. Don't you draw from all that experience? Well, you do. I mean, as you get, you know, as you get older, you draw from experience. But I never was one to be, you know, nervous under pressure or that kind of thing. Cause just not. <laughs> and you're not nervous under pressure with anything. You're no. Not just curling, eh? That's right. Yeah. Yes? Nothing. Yeah. I'm just too happy to be nervous under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, nine and one makes it a little easier to be happier here, doesn't it? Yes, of course. Yeah, it's it's more than we could have ever asked for. So this uh, the playoff scene at the Scotties will be a new thing. But you've been through playoffs before. Obviously, the trials comes to mind twice over and various provincials. I mean, does it make any difference to you guys? Um, you know, Scotties is a bigger stage, obviously. Um, but we've played in so many arenas now, with all of the Grand Slams being in arenas, that it just seems like another big cash bill in an arena, just with a few more spectators. <laughs>